<sighs> so I don't even know where to start. Uh, it literally killed you. Uh, I don't think you're overreacting in this way. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Ended up in the hospital again for asthma. <laughs> and it's one of those things where uh, I've gone through it before. It's gonna really freak you out when you can't breathe. I mean, that's like, it's like I knew I was gonna die. So <clears throat> I guess mentally I'm pretty prepared for for him now. I can kind of handle him mentally. <laughs> that same situation as last time, you know, where uh, weather gets really cold. I um, <clears throat> end up having a cold at the same time. One, two, three. Uh, asthma's a little irritated and just boom, this perfect storm sent me to the hospital. Third trip back. Crazy. This time though, I had a lot more mental control over it. If you panic, it can get a lot worse. Well, let's see. back in the hospital and it's uh, not for cancer it was for asthma oh, it's a I won't show you all this thing. third day in a row I'm getting tired of this they got a good team now oh, thank you <laughs> Asthma and a cold. Asthma and a cold, they just do not mix. So I've been here for a couple of days. It got bad. It was really bad. And uh, looks like we got it under control. I've gone through this before. 2009, put me in a coma. Died a couple of times from it. Not this time. No. Yeah. I wasn't gonna let it take me out. Went in on Saturday morning, they sent me, treated me, they sent me home. I think I left uh, the ER around noon. And then started back up again, like around 4.30, 5 o'clock. I had to go back. It's bad. That one was bad. And they got it under control again. It's about two o'clock in the morning. I came home. They treated me again, sent me home, and then ended up going back to on Sunday. And this, and at that time, they decided to keep me there. Been here ever since. It's now Tuesday. Um, good news is it looks like it's got. Looks like we got it under control now. I feel a lot better. Got yeah, big news too. Big news. Stick around for the end, and I'll tell you what that is. Big news. Good news. Uh, and then I came home on a. Uh... Shoot, what day did I come home? That's I lost track of time so much while I was in there. <laughs> Wednesday afternoon, they they sent me home, and I feel a lot better. And there was so many sick people there. Everybody had a cold that was in there, man. It was packed with people with colds, people with asthma. But I survived. Another one. It was kind of cool because uh, a lot of the nurses and the staff, they were kind of into my, uh, the fact that I had gone through all these things and I was able to overcome them and they checked out my channel. So that's kind of cool. Some of them signed up and subscribed. Just going through this whole thing all over again after dealing with the cancer this year, it's just like so much stuff thrown at me this year, but I survived them all. And here's the, uh, Here's the good news, you know. I told you there'd be some really, really good news. 
and that is two weeks ago, they diagnosed me cured and cancer free. There was no way I was gonna let some asthma attack take me out after that. That's all I thought about. No way, not gonna happen. So yeah, I sucked it up, survived it. And uh, it was a pretty bad one, but uh, I, uh, I wasn't gonna let it take me out after getting the news that I was cancer free. There's just no way. Too much, too much stuff to do, too much to live for. You know, you gotta stay, <laughs> you know, mentally strong. You gotta want to live. And that's when I was going through the asthma attack, especially the second one on Saturday night, going back in. Uh, that one was a mental battle not to, to just completely panic and lose control and give up. That was huge. You can easily panic and let your, your breathing get even crazier and faster and, and just completely lose it. End up passing out, then it's no longer under your control. Even though sometimes it's out of your control no matter what, but try to keep it there under control. And I'm just happy, man. I'm just happy that that's the cancer thing's over with, I can't believe it. It's just like so awesome. I'm excited, snowboarding's about to start here, so I'm ready to get down with that. And uh, looking forward to that big time. And mostly looking forward to getting back into shape. I lost some muscle during that whole period. I need to get that back so I can ride, ride better, or try to get somewhat closer to what I used to be. I just thank the Lord so much for being cancer free. That's just amazing. So looking forward really having a good winter here snowboarding and getting things going, getting back to work, working out, getting my body back. Now that this is all over with, excited. So just wanted to let you guys know, give you an update. I survived and if you're going through something like that too, don't ever give up. Just don't give up, man. Just, just don't give up. I'll talk to you soon.